hey everyone welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how to make the absolute best vegetable soup also called eforiro this is one of my favorite soups it's super easy to make so let me show you how i do it i'm going to start off by boiling the meat here i have goat meat and beef and i'll season it with a little bit of onion beef seasoning cube and chicken seasoning cube i'll add a little bit of water cover it and let it cook for about 25 minutes in a separate pot i'm cooking the pomo and shaki and here i've seasoned it with the same seasoning i used for the beef and goat meat cover this and allow to cook for about 40 to 60 minutes until soft here i'm checking on the beef i'll add a little bit of water and allow this to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's done while that's cooking i'll start preparing the other ingredients i'll need for the soup here i have smoked catfish that i've added hot water to i'll cover this for about five minutes and after about five minutes i'll begin to debone and clean the fish all the ingredients i'm using for this video can be found in a nigerian store or an african store online or just google search your closest african store and the list of the ingredients will be written in the description box below so make sure to check that out After deboning the fish, I'll check on the meat and here it's fully cooked so I'll take this and set it aside. The vegetable I'll be using for this soup is efo shoko which is the traditional leaf used for this soup. Luckily I planted some during the summer, they are super easy to grow, you can just use a grow bag or a pot of soil, water it from time to time and you have your fresh vegetables anytime you need it. And I got the seeds from Jalof Code, you can find her on Instagram and I'll also tag her in this video. You can also just buy this directly from your local Nigerian market. It's also called Lagos spinach. And if you don't have access to any of these, you can also use the regular spinach as an alternative. So here I'm just going to cut the vegetables into smaller chunks. If I buy the vegetables from the local market, I usually wash it first. But because I grew it myself and they're fairly clean, I'm cutting it first before washing. I'll transfer the vegetable to a large bowl and fill the bowl with water. And I'm just going to scoop the leaves from the top so all the dirt or sand can float to the bottom. So next, I'll blanch the vegetables. This step is completely optional. I like to blanch my vegetables, especially when making a furry roll, because it helps me squeeze out the excess water in the spinach, and it also helps the leaves stay green for longer after cooking so blanching is very easy just add hot water to the vegetables allow it to sit for about 30 seconds remove it from the hot water add cold water let it sit for another 30 seconds and that's it squeeze out the excess water as much as you can get out and you're done with the blanching like i said it's completely optional another reason i like doing this is that it gives the vegetable a much nicer texture when eaten it's also the best method for me to store my vegetables if i'm not going to use it immediately I'll do an extra step which is to cut the vegetables into smaller pieces and with that I'm done with the vegetable prep. 
Lastly, for the prep work, I'm going to transfer bell pepper and scotch bonnet pepper to a food processor and I'll give this a rough blend and this is going to be the base for the soup. Finally, we're ready to make the soup. It's going to go super fast, which is why it's good to prep your ingredients beforehand. Here I have heated up palm oil. Now I'm going to fry onions, iru, and crayfish, and I'm going to fry this for about 5 minutes. After about 5 minutes, it's going to start smelling really nice. So next, I'm going to add in the roughly chopped pepper mix. I'll fry this for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat. And like I mentioned earlier, all the ingredients used can be found at your local Nigerian store or even on Amazon and they're going to be listed in the description box below. I'm going to season this lightly with crushed beef stock cubes and also a little bit of salt. You don't want to season too much at this stage because the meat stock is also going to go in here so we don't want our soup to be too salty or over seasoned. So I'll give this a good mix and allow it to fry for about 15 minutes until it's a bit dry and it looks like this. Next, I'll add in the clean smoked fish and I also have some cleaned stock fish and I'll add in the komo and shaki. I've cut this up into smaller pieces. Next, I'll add in the meat and the meat stock and I'm going to give this a good mix. You can add more water if you need to at this point. I don't like my foro to be too dry, especially when I'm eating it with a bar or pounded yam. But you don't add too much water because you don't want the soup to be too runny. So I'll let this cook for about 5 minutes and after that this is what the base looks like. It's not too runny but it's also not too thick. I'll give it a taste and mine needed a little bit of salt so I added that. Just adjust the seasoning at this point because it's already 95% done. I just covered it for a few minutes and now I'm going to add the vegetable. Add the vegetable in batches and everybody likes their foriro different. Some people like it to be more stew than vegetables. Other people like it to be more vegetables than stew. I like it somewhere in between. So I'm going to be adding a moderate amount. After adding the vegetable, I'm going to give this a good mix and I'll allow this cook for about 2 to 3 minutes. Please let me know if you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Instagram. You can send me a DM. My name on Instagram is Kiki Foodies. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you've done so, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm enjoying my foray roll with hot fresh pounded yam and I showed how to make this in my previous video on egusi soup. So if you want to know how to make the pounded yam, you can check out that video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.